But Tom, what are the main challenges of conducting underwater searches? At this depth, Jake, everything. And people keep asking, like, people keep acting like this Bluefin 21 thing is a simple deal. Like, you simply throw it in the water and dive down here and you just let it go riding around and it maps the bottom. And that is simply not the case. What this thing is trying to accomplish is very difficult and really right at the limits of its performance when you get to the deeper parts of the ocean here. Let me talk a little bit about this because there's so much we don't know about it. And one of the big issues out there is terrain. Right now, this area is as foreign to us as the dark side of the moon, maybe more so. Maybe it's nice and smooth down there, even with a slope, or maybe it's more like the Grand Canyon or the Rocky Mountains or something like that. They simply don't know. It's an uncharted area. They know that it's bitterly cold, not freezing, but close to it. They know that it's completely dark, and they know there are many things that can get in the way of riding around and getting smooth pictures down there. One of those things is pressure. The pressure at this level is really quite extraordinary. Think about it. If you're just down, say, 10 feet, it's going to be about 19 pounds per square inch. That's really not much. You swim down there out at the beach. You can feel that. But when you go down to, say, two miles, look at how that pressure builds. More than 4,700 pounds per square inch. And if you go down to the deeper levels, like three miles down, then you start getting up to a level of pressure that Jake would be the same as if you took an African elephant and had it stand with all of its weight on just your big toe and you had that pressure all around you. So all of these things are what makes the deployment of the bluefin much, much, much more complicated than we may imagine from afar. And Tom, let's talk about what's at the bottom of there, the silt. One of the things that silt is made out of is space debris. Yeah, it's made out of a lot of things, and silt is a genuine problem, or it can be. You, the thing is, again, we don't know how much of it is there. We know that it can be made out of things that fall from space, bits of dust that have collected for many, 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 many years. It can be from volcanic ash. It can be from the decay of different animals and critters that swim in the water, and it can be simply from dirt that is washed down there. But this is the result. It can muck up the water tremendously. Things that go down there can be buried beneath the silt where you can't find them. And if you get too close trying to look for them, you can stir up the silt where it's hard to see things. These are all tremendous challenges, Jake. In the end, what it does is make this search, yes, well within the parameters of what the blue fin can do, but it makes it much more experimental than many people might want to admit at this point, Jake.